Good morning. It is about 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going back to a patio that I stamped last week and we're going to color it using the Easy Teak method and seal it right away. I'm looking forward to seeing how that one turns out. And then I have a couple guys going to the new property. They're going to patch a hole in the roof of the little small concrete shack thing that's there and they're gonna spread a bunch of gravel. That place is really coming along. We're making great progress over there and I have a couple other things for them to do as well. The trash was already taken out. I went and it was empty. Annie had the day off once again, but I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Morning, Good morning. soda man. How are you? Good. Morning, Missy. Good morning. How is Ryan? All right. Wonderful. I am just pulling into the yard. It's 612. Nobody's going to be here. Actually, Eric's here. Bugs is not coming in today. I told him to stay home. Don't really need him today. Didn't really have much for him to do. He lives really far away, like 45 minutes away. So if I don't have a, a solid at least half a day for him, you know, I feel like I'm kind of wasting his time. Today's one of those days. I just have to uh, just have to get some of this stuff done uh, before next week. Next week we're going to get busy again. What I got next week? I got a driveway. Then we got, I don't even remember. I have three jobs lined up for next week. Look at, the, look at the sun, man. I think that's the smoke from Canada still. That's crazy. You can see it. It looks like it's foggy it's yeah, not fog it's wise. it's smoke from the wildfire good morning morning ray you ready i'm ready yeah Indeed, kind of right in the back of the truck <laughs> just pulling up on the new land Ryan's ready. What's up? You gotta smile more. Me? Yeah. I'll smile when there's a reason to. Oh, really? I think we should have a meeting in the truck and I'll give you a thousand reasons why you should smile right oh, now. Man. Uh, come over here, I'll show you what to do. Eric, put the concrete saw and the 20 pound sledgehammer on my truck and a pick. So the video got messed up when we were at the yard. I only got a little bit of video from the yard. But anyways, um, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. But the other day, Ray and myself came over here and we got all of this cleaned. Today I'm gonna have Ryan skim that right there because there's still like some wood debris. Make sure all that stuff's out. I don't want any organics or very little organics mixed into the top of the gravel. So I'm gonna have him flatten all this out and then spread that gravel. We're gonna need a ton more gravel. You guys remember the big boiler that was in here? Right up the side of the building. So we cut everything out of here. There was a big tank and with a pump that, you know, pump whatever through this circuit here and then a big boiler. So we removed all that, cut that all out of here and that's what we're left with it's spancrete so uh, i'll have them remove this sheet metal here and then they're gonna um well i'll just tell them here in a second i'll have them come over here i'll explain it once me and eric are leaving but this is what you're doing take that sheet metal off the concrete mm -hmm. and then i put a 2x12 on the truck just cut the 2x12 you know long enough and tap kind of to the ceiling to make a form from underneath and then on the roof i'll take you up there you got to mix up concrete mm -hmm. and then fill that because mm -hmm. i'm gonna have a roofer come and redo the roof and obviously we can't have a giant hole in the roof you got to drill rods into the spancrete put like four rods this way and four rods this way you gotta have a lot of rods because that's all that's going to hold the concrete in place So take a shovel and, and clean all this. Yeah, clean all this really nice. 
Get all the sand out of here. Yep. Get a little bit of concrete in there, put some brass, whatever. Yeah, and drill rods, rods drill rods. Yep, gotcha. and then and then uh, just fill it up and float it smooth okay. with the existing concrete. Got it. Yep, should be very easy. Yep. You're gonna need water, obviously, to mix the concrete. So you're gonna need to get a bucket at Home Depot with a lid and fill it at home or something. The lot line is that. See the stake? No. The one stick poking up all the way by the tree line. Oh, the, with the pink on there? Yes, that's I the lot line. Okay. So like, it doesn't matter if you go over a little. Thanks. Obviously, these guys aren't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a single person back here since I've been working here, which is nice. You know, nobody's going to bother me. You know where the filler is in the tailgate? Behind the tailgate? Yeah, I know. Alright. And whoever thought this machine was just going to be a shop princess, look at this thing. It's a disaster. No, it looks good now. Doing what it's meant to do. What a disaster. Look at this. I'm thinking about trading it in. It's got like 20 something hours already. It was so pretty in the shop, but not anymore. Just tell Ray to keep getting gravel and make sure he doesn't run the truck out of fuel. Ryan will be your boss today. Just tell, ask him any questions you might have. <laughs> Man, I'm off the hook. <laughs> does it feel good? Yes, it does. Ray's like, oh. <laughs> Ray's like what should I do, boss? Ryan, Ryan's like, all right, Ray, I don't want no mess around today. <laughs> like, you're gonna get gravel and hurry up. Don't be stopping. Now get out of here. <laughs> Ryan's all bossy now. Ray's like, why are you treating me bad? <laughs> so my friend, he's a salesman at a big fence company right here in the area. And they're coming next week. Actually, they're coming tomorrow to put the posts in and then next week to install some barrier gates. I just got to cut this concrete off here so you can get the post closer to the existing fence. So we're going to chop this off right now. Yeah. You know how much this wall probably costs? Right, I'm talking about millions. <laughs> Not millions. Oh, yeah. All exposed aggregate like this? It's like 700 some feet long, all on a footing. He's just painting it, right? Huh? You're painting it? I'm not painting it, it's beautiful, man. It just needs to be washed and sealed. It's all exposed aggregate. The fence is awesome. Once we wash it, seal it, shine it up. Hey, I, 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 aren't you uh, Ryan Jr.? Aren't you guys from Victory? Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Can I get a picture, man? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> What do we all need? We need, well, what do you need? A brush? Oh yeah, we need a brush. I mean, I got a broom. I don't know why I'm here. I can't remember for real. I know I need something. It'll come to me. No, I know I need something here. <laughs> yeah. I know we need a long handle. Uh, oh, I need one of these right here. This is one of the things that I needed. Yes, it is. Okay. Grab a whole case of that. $18. I complain every time I buy this spray adhesive. That you is what? so exp I, I complain every time I buy this stuff that it's too expensive. Every time I buy it, I'm like, that's too expensive. I just can't believe it's $18 for one can. Did that guy have a hose on over on his job? Which one is it? The guy with the stamp patio that we use liquid oh, release. Which Yeah. Uh, That's a lot of drywall, man. How are they gonna fit all that drywall in that little truck? <laughs> wow. That's a lot of drywall. Uh, no. I gotta have Ryan go get dirt, man. He ain't answer his phone. We gotta go back to the land quick. Carlito needs topsoil at my house. I completely forgot about that. After you dump that load, go to Monson, get topsoil. You know where that is, right? Yeah. 
get four yards of the topsoil and deliver it to my house. Carlito will be there. And he gotta dump that at my house. Just dump it wherever he wants it. And then uh and then continue with the gravel. But he needs that right away, so I'll do it after you dump this one. Thank you. Morning. You got the boss with you? Yep, you're getting it all dirty. That's my wife did that. Oh. That's close enough. So can I drive on it today? Yes, sir. Okay. It's all yours. Perfect. Wait till we leave in case it cracks. I don't want you to yell we at me. We already got a crack. Yeah, right. We do, right here, look. Right there. That? You got to take this whole section out. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says, that's a crack. He said driveway out. cracked already, Eric. No yeah, no look. Knock. It's bad. No we got to take the whole bottom half out. No way. Yep. Here back. Where did it crack? Right here, look. No. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Let's take oh, it out. Yep. I'll go get the skid loader. Okay. Look at it. The water comes off perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Then it hits a little curve, and it goes all the way down. Yeah. 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 It goes right down. Yeah. Hits that curve, and then around yeah, to the yeah, edge. This job was a lot of work, though. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was only like 40 yards or something like that, but. It felt like it was like a hundred yard. One scoop per gallon. I'll start working it close to the edge and then just come up to the edge. Just real quick. Okay. You know. Okay, okay. This thing puts out a nice little mist. Hopefully once. I'm always stirring it up like every time I dip this thing because this stuff settles up quick. Really quick. It is easy. It's hard to mess up. As long as you kind of keep it somewhat even, it's good. New technique for stamping. Oh, this isn't a new technique. This has been around forever. Yeah? I just never would usually do this. It's new to me. You like it? Do I like it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's easy. You just got to make sure you get it even. You see a little dark spot like that, you just take it out. It's pretty simple. I sense we have spies. Uh oh! <laughs> Two spies! <laughs> right. Hello? Hey, this is not going really good. We tried screwing it into the ceiling. The concrete is like super hard. We couldn't get it in. So. All right, color's all on. Now we just got to let it dry. I'm going to get the sealer can ready right now. And whenever it's dry, we might have to come back. We'll see how fast it goes. If we got to come back, that's fine. Um, so Ray wanted me to call you because he's here, but nobody's here. Oh, that's good. Hello? Did you figure it out? What was the problem? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe the screws were old. Yeah. We gotta make sure that you, um, hang on. 
I did that. <laughs> that should hold three braces. <laughs> All right, are you mixing the concrete now? Are you getting ready to mix the concrete? No, we just finished our work of art. Yeah, I see that work of art right there. That looks <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> that should hold. Yeah. Look at that fish right there. I know, good job, Eric. Thank you. I'm trying to get the water out of this joint. Uh, I'm leaving at like 12.30 today to go on a trip with my wife and I need this thing dry so I can seal it. It's getting there. Let me see what time it is. Maybe we'll go get a... Uh, I have to go get the payroll checks. I'm going to go get the payroll checks and then come back. That's fine. That's out in Brookfield, so that'll take a minute. Me and Eric just got lunch at Culver's and we're in West Dallas, which is where I grew up. And this was the house I was born and raised in right here. The one on the corner. This one? Yeah. And then from here, I would walk to school every day. Over there, right? No, over here. I would walk right down this way. That's the garage I started a fire in. <laughs> yeah. Burnt, wow. I burned out my garage playing with gasoline when I was like 13 years old, 12 years old. This used to be my best friend's house right here. Wow. Yeah, we had a huge, his dad was a carpenter. He's not alive anymore, but his dad built us an awesome half pipe for our skateboards. It was so nice. We had it over there by that wow. blue car, uh -huh. but on the lawn. I used to play basketball here too all the time. Walker Price. This was a good school, man. We had really good teachers back then. Like really good teachers. They actually cared about us. They're trying to help us learn and stuff. They were all about the kids. They weren't all about themselves. Yeah, right here, we used to walk down this alley uh -huh. to the gas station and we used to get those little freezy pops. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? In the, yeah, yeah, in the clear plastic, yeah, yeah, you get yeah. like, orange was my favorite. Yeah, 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 but we used to, they used to have the jumbo ones. Yeah. The jumbo fat, those yeah, were, fat oh ones. man. Those were so good. I was still a kid when they were still there. Yep. But yeah, I used to take my golf clubs, just go across the street, throw them over the fence, jump on the golf course, and I would start playing. I only got kicked off like two times in several years. But that's how I got good at golf. I started doing that when I was like 12. And by the time I hit high school, I was number one varsity as a freshman. Damn! Yeah, I was a, a five handicap, which is really good. Just getting gas here at the gas station. Francisco sent me a picture of their work. Oh, it looks good. That's good. So that's all patched up. Now the guy can come in and uh, rip off the rest of that rubber roof. And he's going to replace it. I'm going to fill up because my wife and I are leaving this afternoon. Going on a little two-day getaway. Relax. Still a little moist over here. And here, a little moist. I think I'm gonna have to have you do it tomorrow. Really? Yeah. It's still too moist, man. You and Ryan can come here. I'll show you how to do it. So you do two coats, you don't roll it. You just go real light. And one of you guys can hold this. Mm -hmm. You know? Really, really tight, yeah. Yeah, you missed it twice. But it only takes like 10 minutes to dry. You can go right back on it. You don't have to shield that. Just careful with the spray. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You guys have to do it in the morning. I, I gotta go. So it's taken a long time. So I'm gonna send my son and him over here tomorrow morning to do it. Okay. It's still got too much moisture in it. Okay, that's fine. If I seal it now, it'll cause problems later. Yeah, let it sit. I'd rather let you have it sit. Yeah, you gotta get going or you're gonna- A couple hours I gotta leave. I still got other stuff to do. Yeah. But, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a great time this weekend. Thank you. I'll see you. Because you know, if I'm not home in time to leave with my wife, then I'm gonna have that kind of stress, you know? Uh -huh. I gotta make her happy. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, you go. Mm hmm. I'm pulling back into the land. I just want to check on their work real quick, make sure my son's doing what I asked him to proper. You like my skid loader? Yeah. You want me to stop or what? Stop? Why do you want to stop? I don't want to stop, but 
Well, no, I was just checking on your work and then I'm leaving. I'm gonna make sure it's all right. Oh, we should have took the ladder. So Since it took you guys half a day. That's because the forms would not go. We tried so many ways, but we got it. Okay. I really do have to leave. I'm just gonna check this, make sure it's fine. Oh man, they didn't even edge it or cut any joints. They didn't even broom it. <laughs> it. That stuff's hard as a rock already. No Feel it. <laughs> it's, I that stuff sets up really yeah. fast. Yep. Yeah. So that's it. All right, let's see what they did in here. Okay. Nice form work. And this is a good practice for you, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to tell you, try practicing. <laughs> 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 Whoa, 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 Hey, you can't try that with the dump truck. No? No. All right, see you later. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, so seal that and then break that little bit of concrete. Break the concrete first. Because the guy is supposed to come tomorrow to put right the post. Okay. Yeah, and I want to make sure that's broken first. Okay. And then that's it? Yeah, then and then that. And seal, right? Yeah, and then seal that. Take Ryan with you so you can work together on that. Okay. And then I'll talk to Ryan, but Ryan and Ray will have to gravel the rest of the day. Okay. All right, see ya. Okay, I'm heading home now. My wife and I are going on a little two-day getaway to Door County. So if you're looking at Wisconsin, it kind of looks like a, a mitt, a mitten. And it's kind of the thumb of the men. That's the Door Peninsula of Wisconsin, Door County. Uh, we were, after we got married, we went, we went on our honeymoon there, which was pretty awesome. We're going back to the same hotel we stayed at during our honeymoon 23 years ago, come July. So pretty cool. It's going to be fun. Door County is absolutely beautiful. It's right on, it's a peninsula, so you got Lake Michigan all around you. So we're going to head out there, or up there, and relax a little bit and enjoy our time together. Pulling up to the house here. Carlito's here. He's still working at my house. We'll see what he's got going. Hey, Dad. Hi. Well, look at the wood chips. Are they looking good? Yeah. You know the piles of them? Oh. not, amigo. Oh, what are you doing, sleeping in your truck? Lunch. Paid by the hour? <laughs> How's it going? Under your truck. Yeah, the cat was <laughs> under your truck. It's okay, Lee. Annie, why are you so bad like that? She's so bad. She's supposed wow. to only be in the house. It's gonna look good though, right? Oh yeah. Hey dad. You say good flowers. Yep, we need good flowers. Dad. That's gonna look real nice, man. I asked your wife and she's she's okay like she picked picked out the colors and stuff here and there, you know. Okay. Dad. All right, I gotta get inside. Dad, I gotta get ready. We're leaving. The there's a bird in the garage right now. Yeah, there's been in like the whole day yesterday, the whole day today. It is 2:30, and we are just about ready to leave. Daniel's out here working in the backyard, right, Daniel? Yep. How about some slow motion? Good work. And Joanna's helping Carlito as well. Look at these flowers. Oh, this was such okay. a disaster here. Do you like it? Love it. It's super nice. $540 worth of plants. And that's a... Really? Huh? Carlito's spending my money like it's nothing. What's wrong with you? Man. Yeah. Look at how nice this is. You're going to put the weed guard down. Yeah. And mulch. Professional. Very professional. So me and my wife are leaving. We'll make a little time lapse on the way. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, bye guys. Daniel's Adios. Working. Did you Adios. see Daniel working? Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay, bye Daniel. Annie. 
There's a bird up there in my garage. It keeps chirping and Annie's going berserk. She wants to get at the bird. Trying to get up there? <laughs> All right, we're hitting the road. Okay, we just pulled up. It took about three hours, and we are at this place here, Somerset Inn and Suites. This is not the premier hotel in Door County. We are not in the, on the water, but this is where our honeymoon was 20, almost 23 years ago. So. We're doing it for old time's sake, not because it's a great hotel, but back when we got married, I was broke, <laughs> really broke. We're gonna check in and then we're gonna go out to dinner. Made it to our room, nothing fancy. Not real fancy. Fancy enough. Yeah, <laughs> I've been in a lot of hotels over the last couple of years and uh, this is not the fanciest one I've been in. <laughs> but the nice thing is we do have a little deck. So this is really nice. We're going to dinner, but I couldn't help but notice. Look at all these cracks. This is really bothering me. Look at all the cracks. And this concrete's not even old. I came out and I was looking at the pretty flowers. Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And we are here in Door County. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I got up at about six. I know I said we were gonna sleep in, but to me that is sleeping in. My wife is still sleeping and she'll probably sleep for a little while yet. Uh, normally I wake up at 4.30, about yeah, 4.30 to 4.40 every day and then I actually get out of bed and start working at five o'clock every day. So to me, a little after six was sleeping in. Today we have some fun things planned and tomorrow we have something fun planned as well. So when we were on our honeymoon 23 years ago, uh, we did a few things and we're gonna try to replicate some of those things. <laughs> it should be, should be pretty fun, uh, especially tomorrow. So when my wife gets up, we're going to go to breakfast and enjoy a, a really nice breakfast and then later today we are going to go on a uh, like a tour boat so we're right on Lake Michigan here and it's gorgeous the weather is perfect it's supposed to be in the 70s and it should be a great time and then tonight one of the I guess famous or very popular things to do here in Door County is to uh, go out to dinner and they do what's called a fish boil so everybody will gather outside of one of these restaurants and they'll boil fresh fish and then you eat your dinner uh, it's really cool normally they'll bring you cherry pie afterwards and so forth if you're wondering about my diet 
the diet is off <laughs> for these couple days. I'm not going crazy, but you know, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. So uh, we'll catch up once my wife gets up. We'll head to breakfast and do some cool stuff today. It should be a lot of fun. It is 8.31 and we're at breakfast. We came to the Blue Horse and we're in Fish Creek. We're in Fish Creek, right? Yeah. In Fish Creek. We had a change of plans. That place was not a restaurant, like a sit-down restaurant. You just order your food at the counter and they had a few tables. It's not really what we were looking for. So we came over to the Carroll House. We've been here once before, years ago. So here we're gonna sit down and enjoy a nice breakfast. Right? Yep. We just finished breakfast and we really don't have anything to do until lunchtime, <laughs> which is kind of why we took this break. So we're gonna drive around. We're gonna find some place to walk up and down the shoreline. There's a bunch of places around here. Uh, you can go on either side of the peninsula and there's beautiful shoreline. So we're gonna go walk around, enjoy ourselves. We're gonna get lunch somewhere and then we're gonna take a nap. So Carroll House was awesome. It's really old school, but it's really, really good food and it's not expensive at all. It's 10, 24, we just had breakfast and now we're heading to Ellison Bluff, which is right there. It's kind of on the tip of Door County, tip of the peninsula, right where that red arrow is. And there's a scenic overlook here. So we're gonna go check this out. Right? Right. <laughs> okay, we just pulled up here. This is the scenic overlook. This is super nice. It's like 60 degrees, the sun just started popping, and it is gorgeous. There's a little bit of a breeze, and check this out. <laughs> this is nice here, we could take a picture. Yeah. Yep. so private so there's a bench down there nobody. we can sit down we can hold hands okay we can kiss okay <laughs> 23 years and we still hold hands sometimes <laughs> <laughs> that's good last night we were sitting out and we were thinking about the last 23 years Seven children, our oldest is graduating college this year. That's crazy. And we actually came to this spot 23 years ago, right? Yep. And we have a picture right here. Yep. So we're gonna take another one. The good thing is we haven't aged at all. <laughs> we look exactly the same. You're not even gonna be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Little gray hair, a few wrinkles. What's the big deal? I still feel fresh. You still feel fresh? Yeah. After seven kids? <laughs> super easy raising seven yeah. kids. Right? Yep. <laughs> this is super nice. There's a huge drop off. I don't know how far down it is. Maybe 80 feet? At least 80 feet. There's a reason there's a fence here. Put it that way. We got some guests down here. This guy right here, I just talked to him. He's from Hunzinger Construction, right in my area in Milwaukee. It's a very large commercial construction company. And he works for them. He's the marketing guy. So that's pretty cool. How's it going out there? It's so beautiful. Goody, goody? Yeah. We are just about ready to leave, but I wanted to mention one thing. A lot of people are not familiar with a most parts of Wisconsin, but most everybody has heard of the Green Bay Packers. And this is Green Bay. This is part of Lake Michigan, it's Green Bay. And the city of Green Bay where the Packers play, it's just to the south, that's a little ways, but it's southwest of here, right? Yeah. Southwest of here. So I thought that was pretty interesting. You ready to go? Yep. Okay, we're leaving. We're gonna go um, try to find some more spots like this. There's plenty of spots like this all around door county really really gorgeous places to hang out very popular tourist destination as well door county a lot of people with big money from chicago
come up here and spend their money in Wisconsin, which we like. So we're at Newport, what is Newport? Newport, yeah. Newport State Park. Mm -hmm. We're gonna walk down the lake. It's just down there. Dark Sky Wilderness State Park. It's a dark sky park, land possessing an exceptional quality of starry nights and a nocturnal environment that is specifically protected for its scientific, natural, educational, and cultural heritage and public enjoyment. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is a long walk. Uh, uh, trying to be lazy on our vacation. We made it down here to the beach. It's chilly out. It's like 60 degrees right now. The water of Lake Michigan is really cold. So the beach is not popping right now. Pretty much have the whole thing to ourselves. Beautiful shoreline. Listen to that sound. I like that it's not hot. If you guys know me at all, you know I don't love the heat. I don't like when it's hotty hotty, which is anything above 90 for me. Okay, we are leaving Newport State Park. On to the next one. We are in Sister Bay. This is more of a touristy part of Door County. The marina's over there. I got my boat parked right over there they're just fueling it up for me right now we're going to take it out i'll show it to you in a minute but this is really nice this is like an outdoor stage or theater we got a park for the kids play set it's really nice right across the street uh, there's a really famous restaurant and they have a grass roof and they keep goats on it and we're going to go over there in a minute i'll show it to you it's pretty pretty wild Everybody knows about the goats on the roof at that restaurant. Sister Bay, right there, that's where we are. This is where we're staying in Ephraim. This is where we just were, Ellison Bay. And then Green Bay doesn't make it. Great city of Green Bay is, it's down here, it's off the map. But that's basically the layout of Door County right there. See Green Bay? Right there. And we're at Sister Bay. Born in 1870, started as a sawmill, grist mill, hotel, and two stores. Pretty cool. There's a lot of history here in Door County. If you're interested in that kind of thing. This is it, Al Johnson's. This is the restaurant. And look at the roof on this place. It's made out of grass. And they keep goats on the roof. There's more, there's a bunch more. So they got a really nice outdoor seating area here. We're thinking about eating here. It is lunchtime, but we're gonna ask and see if there's any kind of weight or anything like that. All right, we're on the pier. I don't know if I should show people the boat. I don't want people to get jealous, like, oh, Ryan's super rich. Anyways, I just bought this one here. My guy's down there scrubbing the deck for me. Better not miss a spot or I'll give him up. That is, that's a pretty nice yacht, I'd have to say. I can't even really go for a ride on that. <laughs> I got my hurricane deck boat. That's good enough for us. Okay? Yeah, we don't need a yacht like that. So come on. Hey, that's that's the, overkill. That's the boat we're going to go on. Next. Oh, yeah. I think that is. So tonight, well, this afternoon at 4 o'clock, a, it's a boat tour because I can't take my yacht because they couldn't get enough diesel for it. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to go on a uh, tour boat 
tonight for two hours. That should be really fun. We went on the Island Clipper, which is a ferry that goes uh, from the tip of Door County out to Washington Island, does a little tour. We did that on our honeymoon. So it's not the same, but it's kind of the same. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. Look at this concrete. This is so disappointing. Look at it, it's about 14, 15 feet wide, no joint in the middle. So what do you think is gonna happen? Boom, 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 boom. Look at this guy. Seagulls, the rats of the sky. They're pretty birds, you have to admit, but they're kind of nasty birds too. It's beautiful out here, listen to that. There's the seagulls down here, and then that thing there, that thing is just chilling on the rock. And my wife and I are trying to figure out what that is, and we have no idea. It's a pretty bird. Long neck, skinny, sharp beak. It's got some real soft feathers, kind of like tail feathers. We couldn't eat at Al Johnson's, there was a long wait. So we're gonna try this place, Wild Tomato. If the food is as nice as their landscaping, it would be really good. The tomato place didn't work out either. So we're at Salago. Hope I said that right. This is a Mexican restaurant. We've been here before. We came here last year once. It's really good. It's kind of old school, but the food is great. Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. Strike number three. This place is remodeling and they won't be open for another week. So when I came in the door and saw the dog, I kind of figured something was up. So we're going to try place number four. Summer Kitchen. We're back in Ephraim. We left Sister Bay and we actually ate here during our honeymoon, right? Yep. 23 years ago. It kind of looked the same. It was all colorful like this. Yeah. Right? Yep. And it was pretty good back then. It's not fancy, but it's, uh, it's nice. All right, this is it. We're in. We're in. We're finally going to get lunch after place number four at the Summer Kitchen. It's actually right down the street from the hotel. The water. Summer kitchen was very good. Brought back memories. You had... I had a taco salad. And I had chicken fajitas and it was really good. We're gonna go back to the hotel and take a nappy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little after three o'clock and I was just resting. We're getting ready to leave. We're going on the little tour boat thing. All you have to do is spread it out, pop it over your head, and wrap the strap around, get it good and tight. There's D-rings all the way around and you'll be fine. These are made to flip you over on your back and keep your head out of the water even if you were unconscious. That's known as the glass house. But that's not a house at all. <laughs> all that is, is an office to the house up above. Oh. Huh. That was owned by Ben Heineman, who was president of the Chicago Northwestern Railroad. Loaded. He found himself working in his house on top of the bluff there all summer long and decided he deserved a better office. So he got his bridge engineers to figure out how to drive beams back into the bluff and hang his office from it. If you look right up there, that's where we were this morning on that lookout point. Now we're on the lakeside. Pretty cool. Had to get commercial in somehow. That's our captain right there. <laughs> they teach him young, I guess. So this wasn't like trucked up here?
enjoy the rest of your time here in Dark County. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy Dark County. That was super fun, very relaxing. Did you like it? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, the weather was nice. It's hoodie weather for sure on the top. Beautiful. We just got coffee again at Analog Coffee. Probably top 10 best coffee I've ever had. Very good. You're having the decaf and you like it too, right? Yeah, I love it. Super good. I love coffee, especially good coffee. We're gonna go to dinner in just a bit. We are a little bit early to dinner. We're eating here at Old Post Office Restaurant. And we ate here 23 years ago on our honeymoon. And it was, the weather was kind of like today. Yeah. So one of the things that they do here in Door County is they do what's called a fish boil. So they catch fresh white fish out on the lake. They use gill nets. And a lot of these restaurants will do what's called a fish boil. I'll show you what that's like. Basically, we all gather around a campfire in the back and they cook the fish and then we eat it. And it's absolutely delicious. And then 23 years ago, we got cherry pie. Yep. Right? And we walked yeah, out. Over here? Walked out on this very pier. Look at how gorgeous this is. Super nice. And we ate our cherry pie right there. All right, this is it here. So basically your crowd's gonna gather around. There's a guy that's gonna boil the fish. He usually tells some stories while he's doing so. We all get entertained by it and then we go eat the fish. It's very fresh. season and, yes <laughs> and i was also born and raised right here in beautiful door county so you almost always get them cooked one or two days after they're caught here at the restaurant uh, if you've never been to one of these before these are whitefish steaks they are not whitefish fillets they're basically chunks of whitefish i take the whole fish and i cut them all up into steaks like this uh, yeah so this is part of 1200 pounds he caught yesterday yeah. <laughs> Um, after the boil over, you guys just go right ahead, walk back in between the two buildings, and just go right to your assigned tables. The servers will come around and bring everybody a plate with a couple of white fish steaks. And for dessert, you get a slice of Door County cherry pie. So, enjoy! It is quite a piece. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Thanks everyone! <laughs> well, we just finished dinner over there at the old post office restaurant. Sun has set. Super nice. Did you like the dinner? Oh, yes. They give you a uh, piece of cherry pie with vanilla ice cream on top. And I like it, but you love it. It's the best. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> so we're pretty tired. We're gonna go to bed early today. Oh, and, you know, if you wanna come down and take a picture, that's fine. But please don't sit at the tables. Okie dokie. Thank you. Yep. It, you know, it just kinda doesn't stop. We understand. Yeah, I get crotchety when you get old. I got an employee that's old and he's kind of crotchety too. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Apparently there was a sign at the end of the dock that we didn't see because we came around the corner and I don't know, I didn't see it. Private dock for yacht owners only. Boat owners and guests only. They were not friends with the boat owners. Okay, we are done for the day. We're gonna go to bed early because doing tourist stuff and eating is very exhausting, right? <laughs> so we're very tired. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, it's about seven o'clock and we're still at the hotel. I'm all ready to go. 
one thing that I started to learn 23 years ago is that women take a long time to get ready. After 23 years of marriage, I can confirm that women take a really long time to get ready. Also, one warning, if you go in the bathroom right after your wife is done getting ready, you might want to be careful because you might inhale a large amount of hairspray aerosol and that's not delightful because you'll breathe so much and you can taste it just a little warning you know it's like a pro tip for a long time married for the young guys <laughs> anyways <laughs> i'm not criticizing i'm just giving you the facts of life trying to teach you something here anyways today we're going to go to breakfast and then we're going to go do something that we did on our honeymoon that was really fun and it's something that uh, we really enjoy so we're gonna go back and do that again and then we're gonna probably get lunch after that and then head home so this has been an incredibly enjoyable time we'll talk a little bit more about that when we are done so we're gonna enjoy today and uh, I'm looking forward to getting home too you know after a couple days you start to miss your kids thinking about your kids all the time and I'm sure my wife thinks about them even more than I do uh, but it has been very refreshing to say the least. Did you just put Tom the hairspray? I'm ready. <coughs> we came over here to Peninsula State Park and we were gonna recreate something we did on our honeymoon. We rented scooters. So we were excited we were gonna come back and we were gonna rent these scooters. But when I went inside, the guy said I was too fat. <laughs> he said, I can't get on one of those cause I'll break it. So they have a 250 pound weight limit. So he gave us the next best option. Peninsula State Park is, it's probably one of the most beautiful parks that I know of yeah. in Wisconsin for yeah. sure, like hands down. Mm -hmm. And um, these are a great way to see the park, but instead we got these. Electric assist bikes. I like the assist part. So we're gonna cruise around the park and I'll show you it's pretty awesome so it'll be fun anyway even though I was looking forward to the scooters all right here we go I've never been on an electric bike of any kind so it's got an assist there's no throttle it's just an assist so you turn it on and then uh, you turn it up Whoa, mine wants to go already, and I barely pedal at all. This is too easy. Yeah. This is really easy. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> you, oh, wait, do we go this way? Yeah, this way. Okay. You barely... Mine, mine is like a little... Too you can turn it... <laughs> yeah, it's too easy. <laughs> Like you just let the weight of your legs hit the pedals and it goes by itself. <laughs> this is the lazy man's bike. <laughs> you can be really lazy and go for a bike ride on these. <laughs> this is like perfect for us. Yeah. <laughs> he said on full assist, the guy told us that this bike will go 60 miles on full assist. Yeah, no kidding. I just won't return these. <laughs> Let them bill my credit card. Who cares? I have to keep hitting the brakes because it's going too fast. I know. Yeah. These are really, really nice. Yeah, these are. Because I love bike riding, but I don't like the work. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Basically, you just keep the weight of your legs on the pedals and the bike does all the work. No joke. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of these. I mean, these bikes are ugly though. I mean, you have to say. Oh. These bikes are really ugly. <laughs> who but who cares? Right. I get, uh, I get emails from e-bike companies all the time that want me to promote their bikes. You do? Yeah, on the oh. YouTube channel, they all want to give me free bikes. Oh! Constantly, constantly, constantly. We should get some. 
This is really bad though. What? These bikes, because now if we go on our regular bikes, we're going to be like, this is ridiculous. We got to pedal. You know? You just get spoiled right away. Yeah, exactly. You get lazy. Yeah. I'm not riding a bike unless it's electric assist. Those old bikes are terrible. This might be better than the scooter. That's what I was just going to say. It's really quiet. I was just going to say that. And it's just, as, it's just about as easy. You don't ever have to really do anything. You don't have to wear those dorky helmets. Yeah. Plus we don't have to wear the dorky helmets. I don't know. When we, did, um, when we did the moped ride on our honeymoon, those helmets were pretty fashionable. Don't you think? We were looking good. <laughs> See, now we're right on the edge of the water. See? Beautiful. Super nice. Ego Bluff Lighthouse. These fat tires don't even fit through here. Oh. It's like hard to get it in there, it barely fits. Oh wow. That was the nastiest bathroom I've ever been in. These facilities are not maintained on a daily basis. Pretty obvious. I don't think it's maintained on a yearly basis, to be honest with you. Eagle Bluff Light Station, 1960, after years of neglect. Hey, that's what the uh, tour guide was talking about on the boat in 1960. A thousand pound anchor from the schooner Oakleaf launched on April 14th, 1866, and it sank in Sturgeon Bay in 1926. How many shipwrecks did he say? 400? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, there's like 400 shipwrecks just in this area alone. Yeah. Lake Michigan, once it gets churned up, if you get a big storm, it gets really wicked. It's, it's like there's so much history in Door County. Yeah. Even from what the guy was saying last night at the fish boil. Yeah. Right. How they started logging here. Mm -hmm. And then the government was paying people to come here because they wanted roads. You can camp here in the park. There's a bunch of places to camp in the park. See the tents all over the place. People bring their boats. Just beautiful. Nicolay Bay. We're right here. Oh, okay. So we're coming down. He told us to keep going to uh -huh. here. Uh huh. But that's well, up to that you. Oh, that beach is probably this beach. Yeah, that's the beach. And then that's where it stops. But you can keep going on this trail. The mini, oh, the mini ha ha trail. Right here. The mini ha ha. <laughs> yeah, there should be a trail right out the other side of that parking lot. See, I told you I was right. Nice Mini ha ha. Uh huh. Yeah, we definitely have to go this way. I hope the trail's not like this for the next 10 miles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's very rocky right here. It's been very rocky for a little bit, too. Mom's struggling. 
ก็มอนกาดเลยโอเคพี่น้องฮาฟาร์ the tower is from here that way Uh, so I don't know if you guys will be able to get there on bikes um, because the trail towards it gets pretty rocky. <laughs> the guy told us to go there. I know, right? He probably knew that we were gonna have to rent the bikes for an extra hour if we did. <laughs> Easy money for him. <laughs> well, after what if it's really far still? I don't want to walk like a mile with this bike. Where is the um, map? Well, the map's not going to do us any good because we have no idea where we are right now. Yeah, but maybe it shows a full, uh, trail, the trail going this way or, you know, like a split to the road. I think I lost the map. What? I lost the map. Where did it go? Are you serious? You lost our map? I think it fell out of my pocket. Did you take it? No. It must have fell out of my pocket. Oh, no. Yeah, there's no way you can ride a bike up that. Not unless you're like a serious mountain bike kind of guy. And these aren't serious mountain bikes. They don't get any internet here. So, I can't check the map online either. I can't believe that happened. <sighs> what? We gotta go up the steps? I got something in my shoe. <laughs> I think we should just go back. We can drive there. Yeah. We'll take the road later. Um, yeah. Did you guys find it? Oh yeah, we went up to the tower, saw everything. Uh, no, we didn't go up there. No? No, that was way too hard to get up there. I, yeah. I figured. Everything, yeah. yeah. We're almost done with these rocks and roots. I can see the parking lot. <laughs> What? I bought them at the store. <laughs> well, I don't have much padding. Uh huh. <laughs> you disagree? Okay, we made it back to the easy oh, trail. Back to the trail. Yeah. Well, I don't know, my buns are so sore, I feel like standing right now. I can tell you that. I feel like I've been plowing snow on the bobcat for like 15 hours straight. Oh no. Without getting up. That's because all the rocks are so high. That didn't feel the best. Well, I just don't have any body fat. That's why it hurts. Yeah, that's like true. very low percentage. Right. That's why we couldn't run the bumpets. Yeah. <laughs> right in my heart. Never too old to have a little fun, right? You look like a little girl with your purse and everything. You do. All right, we're just pulling back into the rental shop. Made it. Made it. And uh, perfect day we had. Yeah, perfect, perfect day. Beautiful bike ride. Man, these bikes are amazing. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Oh, it's so easy. You just let the weight of your legs fall on the pedals it's, and it goes. That's why I tell you, it's just like, you just got to keep your legs kind of moving. Yeah. The bike does the work for yep. it. Yep. Awesome. I mean, I'm in great shape, but my wife, it was really good for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I mean, I didn't even turn mine on. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. full light yeah. speed. No power, yep. right? See? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome guys. They are really nice though. Yeah, honestly. We, we like wow. these a lot. They're just simple and easy sure. and it's just like a regular bike. So. Yeah, I was too fat to ride the scooter, but we're actually glad we got these bikes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great way to see the parks. You get to go through the trails yep. and everything. Yeah, so. nice. Just give us a call. We'll be right there. Oh, that's the battery out. right there. Yeah, no, I was just That's it. Out. Hey, just uh, pop these out and pop a new one. It's almost yeah. like a cordless drill. It is, yeah. That's and we awesome. We just got a nice charging bank out there. Just always got some fresh ones on ready mm -hmm. to go. I mean, yeah, you only use one, one, one bar. More, That's one crazy, because so. I'm, I'm too, I mean, I'm pretty heavy. Yeah. 
edge of park bicycle and moped rental. So if you're under 250 pounds, you can rent one of these bad boys. Otherwise they have tandem bicycles, regular bicycles, and then they have the electric assist like we took. And that was super fun. That was awesome. It's 11.53. I think we should try to go to the tower. Yeah. Although there was a line to get in the park, but it didn't look too long. Okay. We are going back into the park with the truck because we are not gonna fail seeing the Eagle Tower. Okay, we made it to the Eagle Tower. This better be good. We came here on our honeymoon. On the Eagle Tower? Yeah. Yeah, but he said it's all yeah. brand new. Well, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's pretty high up there. This thing goes all the way over there. It reminds me of a roller coaster. What? Yeah. It goes all the way. Yeah. Oh! Oh, whoa. They have oh. redone this. Oh, I see. You can take the steps or there's a ramp. It's wheelchair accessible, apparently. They probably had to make it wheelchair accessible. So they built a giant ramp all the way around those trees and then all the way to the top. I'm taking the steps. I'm not walking that far. Right? That's right. <laughs> We're going up the steps. Oh, I'm sorry. And here we are, right at the top. Bam. Look at this. Wow, this is really cool. It's a long way down. Ready to go? Okay, let's go to lunch. We are in Egg Harbor. This is our final stop. We're at a Mexican restaurant. We're going to eat lunch and then we're going to head home. I'm looking forward to going home. This was super fun, but I always like getting home. All right, our vacation's over. What do you think? Aw. <laughs> we just that was ate. so nice. We just ate our last meal at Mojo's Mexican restaurant in Egg Harbor. And we pretty much did everything we wanted to do to kind of, kind of recreate our honeymoon, except for go to Wilson's. So Ephraim was basically shut down. They have some kind of festival or whatever, but it was packed. The roads were closed, so we decided to skip that, but we got to do a lot of stuff. And that was a lot of fun. Every meal that we ate was delicious. I think that was probably the best two-day getaway we ever had for sure. The weather was perfect, the food was great. It was a really fun time. And we were getting along really good, so that helps a lot. We weren't fighting. <laughs> Like we usually do. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Adios. Adios. Just got home. Autumn was holding down the fort with the little kid. She was doing everything. Why is this out? Hi, Daniel. Like this. Hi, Grace. Ah. Help Autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Did you water the flowers? Hi, Hi Joanna. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? You did? What? You watered the flower for 45 minutes? Joanna did? Yes. Wow, good job. Wow, Autumn kept the house nice and clean. Autumn took care of all this. Bam. 
Good job, Autumn.